Okay, first of all, what is pathology? Um, it's the knowledge of disease, so the logos of, uh, uh, or pathos of logos. So, or if you want to put it in more sort of like a, a easy terminology, it's trying to understand disease. For this, we need to know about the building blocks of what um, tissues are made of, <coughs> and that is the cell. And cells make up tissues like the brain, and tissues make up organisms like humans, like us. Now, I like this quote from uh, Rudolf uh, Virchow um, in the uh, 1800s or uh, 1820. And he said, all diseases result from dysfunction of cells. So I'm going to show you some pictures of what the cells look like um, in the brain and also the tissues. So here's a very brief introduction to the CNS cells. The oligodendrocytes are the cells that make the myelin. Uh, they are damaged or they disappear in multiple sclerosis, although we don't know the exact cause of how they disappear. The astrocytes are the cells that actually make the scar tissue that gives multiple sclerosis its name. It makes the scar tissue. But they seem to have got a bad press in the past, um, and everybody thinks that, okay, they... They make the scar tissue, but they don't do very much else. But actually, the astrocytes are also involved in helping the neurons, um, as well as they start producing neuroprotective factors um, in the damaged um, brain. Now, the microglia, they sort of have a dual role. There are, uh, yeah, sometimes we call them friends, and sometimes we call them foes. They are known to be involved in the damage, but like the astrocytes, they're also known to produce things that help repair. And finally, the neurons. Um, yeah, for a long time, multiple sclerosis was called a myelin disease. But the so-called rediscovery of um, how much damage there is in, uh, to neurons and to axons um, has more or less led to a search um, for neuroprotective factors. How can we protect the neuron from the damage? <coughs> 